One of the things that Natiza does very cleverly is it builds spas, snippet processing arrays, and in that you'll house quite a few snippet processing units. And as you want to grow, you won't just ever call and go, you know, I think I want to have one more spoo. They go, look, you got 2,000 of them. You want me to get you another spa and I'll get you a ton more of these spoos? That's the way it's built, almost like in a building block fashion. The minute you need to add more power to your system, you just order yourself a set of spas and you've got a lot more spoos to give you a lot more boosts. This slide's coming to you a little bit early. We may have not covered everything we want to cover, but I want to introduce it early, not as a teaser, but to start so things get more clear. There are really three things that you're going to want to do to really performance tune these systems. And let me tell you what number one is. You pick a distribution key that will help when you join tables together. You see, this is the part that's going to be shocking to you when I explain it in detail later on. When two rows are going to be joined together from two separate tables, those rows physically have to be on the same spoo. Now, I know what you're saying. Hey, that's probably not going to happen very often. Of course not. And if it doesn't happen, Natiza will redistribute one of those rows based on the hash formula to make it happen so those land temporarily on the same spoo. We'll get into that in full detail, but when you are going to be thinking about distribution keys, the best thing you can think about is how does the customer table join to the order table where customer number equals customer number. If you make the distribution key customer number on both those tables, trust me, this is going to be the fastest join possible because the rows are co-located on the same spoo. That's the best thing you can do for design. The second thing you'll see here in this chapter is how you'll be able to actually order the data on a particular table. The tease that makes it real easy. We know that each spoo holds a portion of that data. Ordering that data in a particular way can make things much faster for these queries. And the last thing you want to be thinking about is organization and the structures here. You're going to want to groom tables, which we'll learn about how to do, and you're going to want to make sure your statistics are up to date. You collect statistics on these tables, and that's great for the optimizer to know how big the table is, what kind of design the table's under, a lot of different things. But every time you insert data, update data, delete, and that table changes by about 10%, you're going to either want to groom it and probably collect statistics again. And if you do these three things, that's all you're going to need to do to have one of the world-class Natiza systems performing at optimal speeds for these users. They've made it so easy.